In this demonstration, we'll show you how to <coughs> perform a two-layer bowel closure that is useful for an enterotomy or anastomosis. First thing you'll need is the plastic insert with Velcro. You're going to place a piece of bowel on the attached tube. You're going to have a two centimeter enterotomy cut in the bowel. Next we'll take a 12 inch suture. You want to make sure to get the entire suture into the trainer before you start. You're going to load your needle. You're going to start at the apex of the incision here. You can use your hunter to spread the apex of the incision to show you each side you're going to start just beyond the apex. Take a full thickness bite on both sides making sure that you can see inside very well. We're going to then tie a slip knot so we're going to leave the tail for your first throw. Leave your first throw loose. Do the next alternating throw. You're going to tie this down as an air knot, leaving it like a big loop. Take the body of the suture, bring it towards 5 o'clock. Push on the opposite leg until the, pop, until the knot pops. Now you can push the knot down, the slip knot. Repeat until that knot is cinched down. Now you're going to lock it. You're going to bring these apart horizontally. And you're going to place two additional throws. We're going to leave the tail there so that we can tie to it at the end. Now we're ready to start our running inner full thickness layer. Once we've taken the second bite, we're going to cinch. This helps keep the suture line from loosening as you go. You can grab the suture and follow yourself as long as the bowel is aligned, making sure you take full thickness bites here. And again, these do not have to be very large bites. You should space them out every two to three millimeters along the incision. Make sure your tail doesn't get caught. And you're going to cinch after each of the closure bites is complete. Make sure not to lock your suture as you go and to lower your loop down where you want it in a precise fashion. This is a really good task for practicing needle loading and precise suture placement. Cinch to make sure it's tight. 
and you keep going. When you work with a long suture, it's helpful to walk your way down the suture to reload it so that you can find it, especially if you don't have a wide field of view. So walk yourself down to the end of the suture, cinch, and you walk yourself back to where the needle is. You're going to want to continue the suture past where the enterotomy ends. This will ensure that you close the entire thing. It's good not to make this layer too thick, otherwise you start imbricating way too much. Now we're going to start with Lembert, so we start on right side, take a seromuscular bite, small distance away from the previous suture line, and cinch that, get started, now we're coming back, we're going to take the bite on the opposite side now, muscular or small distance away from the suture line. A little cinch here. When you take these Lemberts, it's very helpful to follow yourself. This allows you to keep the tension on the suture line, but also allows you to move the bowel onto your needle it allows you to manipulate the bowel without having to grab the bowel so you can take precise bites you want to cinch When we're doing the Lambert, the second layer, we're actually going to be traveling further than we did with the first layer. So you can see we have a longer travel here. And if you follow yourself, you can see that you create a nice ridge where you can tell where your next stitch needs to be. You don't want to over imbricate suture line and narrow your lumen. Looks like we need another stitch here. We want to be next to the original uh, tail. We're going to be tied to that. We can take these in one bite, but I prefer to take them in two to make sure we get accurate bites. your tail doesn't get caught. In ascension now we're right next to our tail so it's time to tie. Generally a surgeon's throw is going to be easiest here rather than a slip knot.
we're going to take care that we don't loosen that first knot. Do our last throw. Cut both tail and body now. And it's finished. And you can see a nice imbricated second layer closure.